In a lot of my recent videos, I've been talking about a bunch of extremely useful tools and software suites that allow you to take advantage of Windows, be able to manage applications, manage partitions and drives, and today is no different. Today, we're going to be talking about a really, really great tool, which may be familiar in the terms of how it operates if you've used Linux before, but we're going to be talking about Chocolaty. Now, what is Chocolaty? It is a package manager for Windows, and this is very similar, and it basically mimics the way that you would use the sudo apt install command line within Linux. And the reason Chocolaty is so awesome is that it allows you to speed up the installation process of multiple programs, and it also allows you to leverage some software um, that you can't really normally use natively within Windows, and you would usually have to rely on Linux for. Now, the way that I use Chocolaty is very similar to the way that I use Nine. If you've watched my previous videos about how to quickly get set up on a fresh install of Windows, you know that I use Nine pretty religiously. And now, actually recently, I've been relying a lot more on Chocolaty, where I create my own product packages and I will run that command line on a computer that I've built um, on one that I am troubleshooting, on one that I am just tinkering around with, and it allows me to get all the stuff that I want installed on it very, very quickly and very easily. And I basically just keep that command line in my Google uh, Drive so that anywhere I go, I'll have that with me. So when you go to the chocolate.org website, you will see up here, there is an install. So we're gonna go to install, and we're going to go and talk about this install chocolatey for individual use. Now, this is going to be slightly out of some people's comfort zones utilizing PowerShell. It's honestly a lot easier than you think it would be. I'm going to help guide you through this to make it as unintimidating as possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the start menu. We're going to type PowerShell and we're going to make sure that we run that as admin. Once you get into your PowerShell, you're going to copy this get execution policy. We're going to go ahead back into PowerShell. We're going to paste that. We're going to see that our execution policy is set to restricted so we're going to want to change that away from restricted and we're, they suggest using bypass so you can either copy this all signed but they suggest that you use the bypass so we're going to use the bypass one we're going to copy that in we're going to paste that and we're going to select y for yes and we are good so now you're going to copy this command tool we're going to go back into PowerShell. We're going to paste that one in. And it is going to go ahead and install Chocolaty. Now it says that you should probably shut down or restart PowerShell um, after installation. So we're going to do that. And we can type Choco. And we can see that Chocolaty is running. So from here, we're going to want to find some packages. So if we go to the community button up here, we go to find packages, you're going to get something saying that, you know, each package goes through a bunch of moderation that, you know, includes um, security, installation testing, virus checking, all those kinds of things, which is awesome. And you can see in here, we have a bunch of community maintained packages, over 9,000 of them. And the really great thing is that you can copy their installation command right from the screen. You don't have to go into them. You don't have to configure anything. It will go ahead and grab them all for you. This is the bread and butter of Chocolaty and it makes life super easy for a lot of people. So for example, let's say we wanna go ahead and install Git. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna find Git. We're gonna copy it, go over to our command. And again, if you use Linux, this is extremely similar to how it looks when you do a sudo apt install. Um, this is a super, super easy process. We're gonna go ahead and run this and we got it installed. So as I've mentioned, the key way that I use Chocolaty is to install multiple things at the same time. And you can end up utilizing that very, very simply by adding multiple package names to the Choco install command line. And basically how that works, as you can see here, I've created one really quickly. For a Choco install, we're gonna do LibreOffice, we're gonna do GIMP, FileZilla, and Slack. And all you do is you make sure that you have a Choco install command, and then you take the name of the package. Now, 
The super important thing is the packages do not have spaces in them. They utilize dashes or periods um, to separate names. And basically when you copy one of these, for example, when as, uh, uh, SCP, if we go into here and you go ahead and paste it, it's gonna have everything. You're just gonna remove the Chaco install and just leave the space, for example. We're not gonna include that one though. We're gonna do it like this. We'll copy this one over and we will start running this. It's gonna say LibreOffice was already installed. I already did that one. So we're gonna to go to the next. Now it's gonna start doing GIMP. And you can see how this makes the process super, super easy. It really makes life simple. And I have really started relying on Chocolatey a lot. And now that I've been using my Steam Deck a lot and tinkering around with Linux, this is just super intuitive to me. I really enjoy it. And the next thing I'm going to be talking about where it's updating all the applications at the same time also reflects the way that Linux kind of operates with that and makes life super easy. All right, so as we can see here, it was able to install all of our programs and it even told us it only did three out of the four and because LibreOffice was already installed, which is great. Now, uninstallation is just as simple. Say we want to uninstall LibreOffice. Now, if we want to make this super simple, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and copy the install, but I'm gonna change this to say, uninstall. Now it's gonna go ahead and uninstall that for us. Again, super quick, super easy to do. Um, doesn't take very long and we're done. Now upgrading is also very easy, especially if you wanna upgrade the things that Chocolatey has installed. This is gonna be very similar to things like Discovery within Linux, where you can update all your applications all at once without having to launch each application individually and updating them. This is super great, and I really enjoy this, this tool. I use it a lot because some of the computers that I use for troubleshooting and things like that, I won't have used them for a couple of months. Those applications will have updates from the, for them, and using the Chocolatey upgrade or update makes things super simple. So as you can see here, there's a bunch of examples of the commands that we can use. We're gonna go ahead and just choose the upgrade all. It's gonna tell us that none of them can be upgraded because we just installed them. And as you can see here, it is gonna tell you that Chocolatey is, is up to date, FileZilla is up to date, Gimp's up to date, Git's up, up to date, and Slack is up to date. So if you had applications that needed to be upgraded or updated, it would tell you right there. And this, makes life super easy and if you're installing a bunch of programs utilizing this you can really leverage this upgrade tool to easily keep things up to date all the time so another awesome thing is if you find using the command line method intimidating they've actually created a GUI um, and the GUI is awesome you just copy the package just like you would with anything else Ready to go ahead and get that one installed. It's usually pretty quick. We're gonna do all. And we're good to go. So now if we search for chocolatey, I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. We can close the PowerShell now. And you can see the applications that we've already installed through PowerShell. And one of the awesome things is that you do not have to do the copy and paste method anymore. You can literally just go through basically a chocolatey store and find all the applications that you want. You can click on them and you can install them. It is extremely easy. And with these, you can actually right click on them and you can check details. You can take a look at it and make sure everything's good. And you can also do the updating through this as well. Um, you can make it check for outdated packages. And when nothing needs to be updated, it will tell you no packages currently need to be updated. So this is a really great tool. You can uninstall things just by right clicking. Um, this does make life much easier if you're intimidated by the command line stuff. Um, and it also helps you keep a better idea of what you've used uh, and what you've installed using Chocolatey. Um, and it's great, I, I mean, it's pretty nice. I'll usually end up adding this in for people that I set up their computers with so they can go ahead and take a look at everything. It makes it very easy for them to update it. Um, but 
You can use this method or you can use the PowerShell method. Either way is fine. Now, with all that said, is chocolatey something that a lot of people are going to use? I don't think so, but I really enjoy using it. It really fits my use case very well, and it may fit certain people's use cases very well as well. And it is fun to tinker around with, get a little bit more comfortable utilizing command line stuff. If it's if you're starting to use Linux, this is going to be super familiar to you. If you're an advanced user with Linux, this is going to be like a cakewalk. You're going to be able to do this in your sleep. But it is really nice to see these kinds of tools make their way over to Windows. And I'm really happy with this tool. Again, I utilize this a lot when I am setting up new computers. And I've basically created a command that will install a bunch of the applications that I like using from the get-go very quickly and easily. So I don't even have to rely on Ninet anymore. I use Chocolatey. Now, with all that said, I hope you found this video interesting or helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you like, subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors, ThoughtSlime and Stepback, and thank you for watching the end of this video. If you do want to see any of my other tools and software guides, you can go ahead and check out this playlist right up here. As always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Saturday.